Okay, so today's stuff is Afsam Khdalid in Baba Kamas. We learn for a chemical basis from Sumba Tsar Shivya and for the for the yard side of Pinchas Ben Ephraim. Okay, whose yard site is today. My grandfather, who I'm named after Ephraim, his name is Ephraim Yehuda Halevi, his father was Pinchas. It's another oh, one. Oh, wow. right? So we have something there too, right? Maybe you're related. Maybe we're related. We certainly are. You just have to go back, back a few generations to figure it out. And he looked more like you than like me. Amar Ma, where it's on Samach Dalet Amit Aleph. This is a continuation of discussion about <clears throat> how do we know both the concept of a Ghana pace double and a trolling time is Ghana. If a person who was given something to watch, to guard, and he claimed that it was stolen, and it turned out that he took it himself, that he also has to pay Kefal. So we had different sukkim. We had actually three different sukkim. We had in Perak Chafei's Pasuk Gimel, which was the one we came to at the end. First, we had Pasuk Vav and Pasuk Zion, which, according to one sheet, uh, the Pasuk Vav is speaking about a regular Ghana, and Pasuk Zion is speaking about a towing Tainus Ghana. Uh, but he took it himself. So that's one way to learn. Uh, the other way is that they're both speaking about Tony Tainus Ganov, and how do we know Ganov? That was what the question was raised at the end of yesterday's daf. At the end of some of the days, the question was, if you learn both speaking about Tony Tainus Ganov, how do you know Ganov himself pays double? I will say, learn it out from a Kalva Homer. But if you want to come and call Homer, just like Tony Tainus Ganov only pays Kefal if he swore falsely that it was stolen from him and turned out he took it himself, his enemy took it himself, in the same way a regular Ganov should not have to pay double unless when he's accused, he, he first swears and says, no, I didn't steal it. And that's not the case. The case is that a Ghana pays double if he's found with two Adam. Two Adam find that he uh, claim, you know, uh, say that he uh, they witnessed and they testified that he, he stole, he has to pay double. Again, stole here means burgled. Um, and, uh, but a towing town is Ghana only as if he swore he was given something to watch and then he swore that it was stolen from him. That's why he doesn't have it. Then it turns out that he that he took it himself, and he has to pay double only after a shvur. So you can't learn a base. So the Gemara came back to the pasuk and pasuk gimel. He must say, he must say, and he must say, he must say. Yarak neiba mishar chamar at sech chaim sham. That's the pasuk speaking about a regular ganav, according to the drasha of chizkia, the bei chizkia. That's what the Gemara says. Mitan bei chizkia. Now, isn't that the favorite of the pasuk? What do we need this whole drasha for? As we'll see, because the simple shot in the pasuk doesn't teach us all items. Again. The whole basis of this Gemara is the first mission of the parak, which says, so what's the difference between Kefal and Dalde? Dalde only part on shore, on shore or set, right? If you if you if you burgled it and then you slaughtered it or sold it, you pay Dalde. Hey, but Kefal you pay on all items. How do we know all items? The Pasik says in Yimatsitimasyara Gneva, Shore, Hamor, Sechaim, livestock. How do we know on all items you pay Kefal? I took your wallet, I took your car, or whatever I took of yours, your handkerchief, I pay. Double that's based on the pasuk on the drasha that we're going to say now. Now, what was the drasha? We said, well, it's like a cloud of prado cloud, right? We have a cloud of uh hageneva, includes all things. Shorchamor, I'd say, chayim. Well, then that's the uh, the chayim includes everything, so uh, we have the similarity. Shorchamor says it's got to be something similar to those. What do you mean similar to them? That it's davar shemetaltel, davar which is movable and it has intrinsic value. So all items like that, anything that has intrinsic value and is movable, if the, you pay kefal. Omar Mar. So we're about 12 lines down in Samach We actually covered this yesterday, but we'll review from here. Omar Mar, 12 lines down on the page. Yom HaShor Gneva. So we said like this. Let's just say we're trying to dash. How do we know all items are included? Because we said all items based on the word Gneva. Okay, so first it says, let's say Shor Gneva. If we would say Shor Gneva, maybe you can learn everything from there. Shor is also Dabramatanto. And it's Gufo Mama, movable and it has intrinsic value. Says, well, maybe it's only something shore, is only something which is like on the Mizbeach. Well, Sigmar says, Miksiv Shore, it doesn't say Shore Gneva, it says, in Mimasi Tamasi Ada, Ha Gneva Mi Shore. Gneva is mentioned before Shore. Gneva Shore would have said, that's what it says. Maybe it says, Had it said, had it, maybe you mean to say, not the way it said it, but he said, Had it said, Shore uh, Gneva, Ilun Emakamar, well, Ilun Emakamar Shore Gneva. Then it also wouldn't have a cloud. What's the, the Gemara is asking here? Where's the cloud of prat or cloud? Again, cloud of prat or cloud. If it's cloud of prat, ain't b'chal mashu b'prat. Prat u cloud, everything is included. 
most of the clouds, most of them by klalu pradu klal. What does that mean? That things are limited to to, to things that are things that are that has the characteristics of the prat. Because if it would just say klal uprat, would only be prat. So the original klal is limiting. The last klal is more encompassing, is more generalizing. So could you say just like the prat is exact has these qualities? Shor ma prat of furshu, shor prat ugeneva klal. If it would say shore and then klal and then the geneva, so it's prat of klal, prat of klal, nasa klal, most of all the prat and this rabbalu kolmili. Everything is included in that. Had it only said shor u prat, had it said shor u geneva, so I would say everything is included just on those two words. Elik lechsivka remaining means this. Had it only said geneva and shor, so geneva shor mimetz zarmer hakol bechlal. Can you say everything is included in that? Oma prat and furish. Have a, uh, or, or just like before, like this, the like prat has these characters, uh, the prat that's explained, which is short, the prat which is which is listed, which is the prat, uh, which is short, and that has these characteristics. Have like an klal, the short prat, klal prat, a machal masha prat. So he's asking a basic question. Where's the klal prat klal over here? There's no klal prat klal. In, in, the, in the other cases, we talk, al kol dvar pesh, remember at the beginning of the pesh, al kol dvar pesh, that's the klal. That's our prat. I'll call a beta. That's another class. So we understand you have a cloud and you have individual things. You have a generalization, then a specification, then you have a final generalization. Fine. But over here, you only have, you don't have that. You have Geneva and Shore. So that's a cloud prat. Shore and nothing else. So how do you darshness? Tana Achaim Kasamach. You know what the general the second generalization is? Chaim. Again, what does the Bosque say? That's the general world, Geneva, meaning all things. Sure, ad chamor ad se chayim, anything that's alive. So you have he's that's that's the second cloud. In other words, that's how you have cloud part of cloud. Geneva is the first cloud. Sure is the is the prat or chamor or se, and then you have the generalization of chayim. Uklal prat uklal, uklal uprat uklal. Come alay. Big more valadami klal abasul klal kama. That's not a second generalization, it's not a generalization, it's just chaim, just livestock. Most things that you see in life are not alive, right? My jacket's not alive, the car's not alive. There's a million things that aren't alive. A generalization means that it includes everything. You have a generalization, then a specification, then another generalization. Well, here the second generalization is only chaim. That doesn't include everything. The second call is not like the first call. Uh, so, because it doesn't, it only includes live things. Where, 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 we're trying to say, how do I know if I, if I burgle your pencil, your book, your, your anything that you have, your jacket, your hive and everything. Well, the second generalization only includes live things. So where's the call of cup? So Tanah Rebbe Shmuel goes to Tanah Shmuel, the Kai Gav Nadarish call of He does dash and call of call this way, even though, even though the second generalization is not going to be as generalized as the first one. But he dashes this way too. But here's the problem. So we're really in the middle here. The Be- we're still trying to figure out the Be'echizkia. Be'echizkia says that the gen- the idea that a regular Ganev pays Kefel, not towing tennis Ganev, is this Pusik. What's going on over here? The Hachi Kakashale, this was the Kasha that Be'echizkia had on this Pusik. Emi Matse Ti Matse Lamali. The beginning of the Pusik. We've ignored till now. Beginning of Pusik, it says, Emi Matse Ti Matse Lamali. But Mishor Chamor Atse Chaim Shnai Mishale. Okay, we get Geneva. A, a, a generalization and a and a specification trying to a cloud a cloud of product cloud but where is the uh where is the uh what are you going to do with the first words what do you need those words for just say those things you have sure geneva and chaim and everything will be included in those those are all things that are metaltal and gufa moment Am I included that? What do I need with a Matzei to Matzei? So you must know. Ilu kein ayisi omer ma prat mefurish davar karv gamas beach. Again, if it would only say shor ganev and chayim, I could say, wait a minute, the prat of shor, something that's brought on this beach, I've called a karv gamas beach. My yeshlavi, what my yeshlavi, what would you include with that? Anything on this beach? Well, I would include set, right? The set is also brought on this beach, right? And on this beach, you have shor, uh, shor, kesev, and ace. It says basically a kesev, uh, a, a sheep. And uh, so I would include that. Shomer said, but it says that. It says, in Mimotsi to Matsa, the other dog gave me Shor al Khamar Adse. So it says that. So Shor can't be teaching you, the, the Kal Parakal can't be teaching you uh, anything about Rosbeach because I have a favorite set. 
So why does it say Geneva? Well, I was called over. Oh, so maybe that would be my drasha. Again, the Geneva is the generalization, followed by the specification, followed by Chaim to include all kinds of living things. But if it would only say Shor and Geneva and um, and Chaim, so I would include any things that are like the shore, meaning brought us back. What would they include? Said, but it says said, so it can't be teaching me that. So Geneva must be teaching me more. El Geneva Rav was called over. So Yomer Geneva v'shor v'seh v'chaim. So say all those v'akol v'chal. I include everything. Il can yisim and I'm yisim ma'av prop and porish. Dover kadam shemachora. Okay. So all, all those things they have the qualities shore and seh and chaim. Maybe just like shore and seh a dover she that has a firstborn that's holy kadosh shemachora. Afkol kadosh shemachora. Anything like that. Ma'is. What else would you include? Chamor would include the chamor, right? But it says chamor. Shu hamer chamor re chamor. So I can't be telling you that. Amani mekayim Geneva. Rav was called over. Always wonder on se, because se, uh, se, what is a se? Se is a sheep, but it's also a goat. Se, kvassum, the se is him, right? So really, I think it refers to both. And here's also I hear an indication too, because he says, say shore and saw and se, and what will you include? You'll include all davash uh, hakarash bukhar, which would include chamor. Why don't you include izim? Why don't you include goats, which are also brought in there? Obviously, because se includes that too. Amani makaim se includes all. It means it means what we call um, flocks or sheep. It means sheep and goats, right? Lambs and goats. Hamani mekam geneva l'rav is called over. It's okay. So yomer geneva v'shor v'sev v'chamor v'chayim v'akol v'chal. So that's you have everything based on that. Uh, uh, you have everything based on that. Uh, you have uh, you have the geneva generalization. You have the chayim the the second generalization. You have shor v'sev v'chamor, and you know it's not just speaking about uh, things that are baruch be'ach because uh, you have sef for that. Why do we say sef? So it's not just things of Bech, and it's not just things that are Kosh Bechara, because you have Chamor. So what else would you include? So Ilu Ken Yisim Ramapa Mfush Balachayim. Ah, but now we're saying that the, the Prat is also Balachayim. All these Pratim, Shor, Sen, and Chamor are Balachayim. I've called Balachayim. So maybe it's the only things that are alive. If I steal your satchel or your pen or your yarmulke, I don't have to pay for it. What would you include? Shar Balachayim, all kinds of other livestock, even pigs and cow. Uh, Pigs and horses, everything, anything that's alive, you have to pay careful if you stole it. Shomer Chaim, but it says Chaim. Hare, Hare, Balechaim, Amor. So it says that too. In other words, what are you including that's not already listed? Amani Makaim Geneva. So therefore, what's Geneva? The Rabbis called up. So that's how I have everything. I have it already there. Ah, so we're back to our question. This goes back to the original question. But they said, what do I need Himatsi to Matsi for? I'll tell you why. It's not a good kasha because you've already included everything. Geneva includes everything because Balachayim I know because it says Shor Sech Amor and Chayim, right? So what does Geneva teach me? Everything. So it's a good kasha. What do I need for it? This is the kasha. The Rabbos called up. How do you know the Rabbos can include anything? Basra from the second cloud because you have Geneva and then you have Sechal Chayim. It's not a general kasha. This is sort of repeating the question, meaning. The second generalization, the Chaim, is not a generalization. Geneva is anything, anything you steal, anything in the world that you steal, that you could that you could steal. At this point, we could say it includes Karka or other things, but that, that doesn't have the characteristics of Shor, Chamor, et cetera, that are movable and of intrinsic value. But the second generalization of Chaim doesn't include everything. It's only Bala Chaim. El Gufa Chaim Sibbe. Kalu Prado Klal, Mai Kamani. What does it help? What does it help? All it says is the it's not a the second cloud is not including everything. It's not a generalization. It's only including livestock. So Ila Suye called up if it's include everything. That's why this is the this is the answer to the kasha. Meaning the first question that the Beichiskia said we said learn out from. Uh, uh, regular, we're looking for what's the source of regular Ghana. If you hold that the two Pesukim Bav and Zion are both speaking about Tontan is Ghana, what's the Pesuk of Ghana? This Pesuk Gimel. Okay, what do I need? Just say the Pesuk. It says, If you steal something, you pay Shanaim Shalom. The answer is, if it wouldn't be for Beichizkiah, I would say maybe it only refers to livestock. Beichizkiah says, no, what do I need Himatsi Timatsi for? Himatsi Timatsi, you darshan that as a cloud prado cloud. Amri, what do you mean in Imatsay? Usually, what is a cloud prior cloud? You have a generalization followed by a specification, followed by, right? You have a generalization of cloud followed by a prior, followed by a cloud. Okay. 
But over here, he must say to is at the beginning of the Pasik. And the two generalizations are together. He must say and Timatse. If you find anything, Timatse, if you find anything, then afterwards you have the product. It's not Klalu Pradu Klal, it's Klalu Klalu Prad. These, these are two calls which are right next to each other. There's no pride in between. Like they say in Israel, if you find two calls which are right next to one another, you could stick the prod between them. Even though the prod follows that, you could stick it in between them. Meaning, how do you do that? The Pasuk says, "Imi matzei timatzei yada hakneiva." Stick shore in between. Shut a shore beni matzei timatzei. La suyim. What do you include? Ila suyim balachayim. If you include balachayim, mechayim nafka. We already know it says from the Pasuk chayim. That's one of the pratim. We're saying now chamor. The second, the second chayim uh, rather. This, the chayim, the word chayim, is not the second part of the klal part of klal. It's not the second klal. It's a prat because we already have himatzei timatzei for the two klals. The klal, klal, the klal. And this, the first call and the second call are himatse timatse. So the shore can't be teaching me livestock because it says I have livestock. So it's teaching me just the opposite from the tour, from the extra word there, shore teaching me even things that are not Chaim teaches me livestock. So it teaches me things that aren't balachaim. Ah, so now I have balachaim and I have things that are not balachaim based on the kavacho, based on the kal parakal of himatse timatse and shore. Uh, uh, anything which is like shore, I've called the metal of mammon. The su, I think that should be above the su shadi chamor bein himatsutimas. Now put chamor between himatsutimas. Let's say, what does that come to? So you dovish in balachayim. If it's like me, sure enough, we just learned that out of shore. So what does chamor teach me? Allah, so you dover masuyim. It's got to be something specific. Again, Rashi says dover masuyim means what? Something that has a simon, something that has a simon. And Rashi explains that this is not from the mashmos of the word because uh, uh, short, most shores don't have a simon either. They all pretty much look alike, right? So there's no, then we all have a simon. Unless you branded it, there's no specific simon on them, right? Uh, or let's say many shore, many, many shvarim don't have a simon. It's from the extra word. The extra chamor teach me, I'm assuming it's got to be something which has a, a, a simon. According to Tosis, means dover, which is something specific, not like a house full of items. It's a specific item that can either be measured or counted or weighed. Okay, Ihaki Selam, at least what is that for? So you've explained why you have shore, why you have chamor, and why you have time. What do you need set for? So that you're stuck with that. Ella Selam, Ella, forget all that. Forget that whole drasha because that doesn't work. There's two ways to darsh in the Torah, either klal prat or klal, or ribu yomiyat. Klal prat klal says everything like the prat, everything has the same characteristics. Ribu yomiyat means you include everything and you're only going to one thing. Ela ribu yomiyat riba. In other words, it's a uh, amplification. Riba is like an amplification. Yomiyat is like a exclusion. The ton of we have this elsewhere in in, uh, in Perak uh, Yeralaf of Vayikra, Pasik test, it says like this. Which, what are the kosher fish that you can eat that has kosher small stamp of It says bamayim, anything in the water, and then it says again bamayim, and then it says kaskeses. So, what's shot in that? That uh, you have to say you have two generalizations anything in the water, anything in the water, and then you have the stamp of kaskeses. The mayim, mayim, base, pamim, ain't a klal of prat, because in other words, you say only in the mayim, only like in the general. Then it says not only kaskeses, but no, I'm sorry. The, the 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 signal the signs are not for Kessis, but it says bayam uvanacholim. It says bamayim bayam bamayim, and then it says bayam v'chom in the rivers and the seas, right? So maybe only in rivers and seas. Maybe if I have, let's say, a um, a fish pond or what do they call those things? A uh, where they where they um, where they raise fish. What's the word for that? Huh? A fish farm. A fish farm. So maybe there. I don't have to. I, I can, the fish is kosher even when it doesn't have fins and scales. It says a bayam of a right? So maybe it means that. Maybe it was called prat, just like a just like the prat is what yam munachalim, flowing rivers and seas that flow around the world. But if it's in a pool or a farm, like you say, maybe then uh, you don't need something that says it's, no. We don't dash in that way. By a mind, by mind, base pumping, even though the are are near, near each other. Right? You could have done Rishma, done Rishma, but my mind based pump. Sometimes you don't have to darshan it as a cloud protocol just because you have the two calls and then the 
But rather you say, but my mind based from ain't the cloud part, el ribu me for riba. Put riba call. Now this is not a case where this is Rashi says, come should have a my mind. He has a different gear of it. I think if you look at the Pusik, let's just look, let's take a quick look at the Pusik, because I think I quoted it wrong. It's not Bamayim Bamayim, but let's see. It's in, I know it's uh, in Vayikra. Okay, it says Bamayim. Again, it says Bamayim Bayam, and then it says Bayam Munachalim. So here again, the two Bamayims are generalizations, and the Bayam Nacholim is afterwards, but you don't have to darshan it even as a Klaal Prat Klaal at all, but rather you darshan as Reba Umiyat. Ainza Bakal Prat, Ela Reba Umiyat Bariba, Reba Kol, everything, all kinds of places of water, uh, in it, wherever you find the fish, you have to have snap of you have to have fins and scales. My Rabbi, Rabbi, call me, include everything. And what do you exclude then? What's the difference between Klaal Prat or Klaal? Everything has to be like the characteristics of the prop. Reba, umiyat, variba, there you say everything is included except one little thing. What's excluded over here? Maybe the exclusion is the Gemara there of Chulun wants to say, maybe if it's, let's say, if you find fish in a little bore, you have a little bore, a little puddle of water or, or a little thing of water, not flowing water around, maybe over there, if you find something there, it doesn't have to have fins and scales. That's what the Gemara wants to say. I'm not saying that's not luck. I'm saying that's what the Gemara wants to say. So, so that's the same thing over here. Over here, we're saying that what? Forget about the Klaal Parak Klaal. You know what this whole drush is? This Pasuk, Yimatsay, Timatsay, Biyarag Neiba, Mishor Chlar, we're darshing as Reba, Mir Reba, Yachi, we're darshing as including everything, anything that you steal, you pay Kefal on, and what's excluded, Yachi, Kalhani, Prati, Lamali, Chat, so what do you need the Pratim for? If you learn as Klaal Parak Klaal, so you understand everything had to have these characteristics. And the male Akark and these Akark, for example, it's not does not have the characteristic of movable and intrinsic value, it's not movable. So what about, now that we have the Pratim water for, Chadamute Karka, one is to include Karka. In other words, when you have Rebo, Miet, Rebo, so you only meet specific little things. They're excluding Karka, one is to include, what, do you, what, what does it say, Shor, Hamor, Se, and Chaim, one is to exclude um, Karka, one is to exclude Avadim, Chadamute Shtaris, Genev Vachayim, what is that for? Likr Rav. Genev Vachayim, so each of Rav's brush, we can see later on, to Omar, Achi Likaren Kein Shagonim. When you burgle something, and then when you pay it back, if it devalued in between or it got weakened or something, else, it was an animal, you stole it, it was worth. When you stole it, it, was, it would weigh 300 kilo. Now it's only 100 kilo. You have to resuscitate it first. Yes, you have to pay back what he stole. That's what he, that's what he learns out from Geneva Vachayim. What you ever steal has to be the same way you stole it. It has to have that same amount of life. That's how you have to return it. So that's what the drush is for. Now, now we're going to go back. So now we have, we've sort of completed the idea that what, that whether it's Ghana or Tony Town, it's Ghana, you pay Kefal. Different Sukkim though, right? We have three different Sukkim. And the one who learns that Vav and Zion are both Tony Town, Ghana, he learns Pasuk Gimel to teach me Ghana. What do we need to pay Chizkiah for to teach you? How do you learn from Gimel that everything is included, that it's not just livestock that includes everything? Fine. Okay. So, but the other Shita was, we had another, the, the Shita was that. Vav is speaking about Geneva, right? Gene regular Geneva pays Kefal. Zion is speaking about Torin Tanis Ganev. What does he do with Pasi Gimel then? Now we're going to do, so now we're going to see, basically they all hold the same Allah. Everybody agrees that Ganev pays Kefal without a Shvua. And Torin Tanis Ganev pays with a Shvua. If he swore falsely, then he pays Kefal. Uh, but what is the one who holds that Vav and Zion, one is Ganev and one's life? What does he do with Pasi Gimel? So the Gemara says, Well, Mandar Machal began Machal Torin Tanis Ganev. Is which Pasik Michael you're looking at? I see Pasik Vav, right? That's the, the first Pasik Vav is speaking about a Ganav, right? So Ganav, what does he do with Pasik Gimel? I'm praying, right? What is if you learn Vav for Ganav and Vav and Zion? Vav is the Meha Meha Shomer, right? No, yeah, but that, that's that's just that's just because it says Baguna Mi Besa Ish. Right, that's what Guna Beis Ish teaches me that if you, we had that, the, the first Rashi in the Perak said that Guna Beis Ish teaches me it's got to be stolen from the Balabayat, not from another Ganav, not from another Ganav. But either way, yeah, but it's, a, uh, but yeah, but that's what, that's what your Balabayat is talking about, the Shomer also, but the main Russia of what we're saying now is the Ganav himself. What does he do with Pasuk Gimel? 
Ibole Kurava Bara Aloy, Domara Bara Aloy, my time at Rav, Domara Bara Bakanas Vachabo Aid and Potter. We've said all along for years, what have we said? Motor Bakanas is Potter, right? If a person rapes a girl and then is Moda without aid, you know, doesn't aid him long for long, he's Moda, you don't have to pay the Knas. Anytime there's a Knas, with uh, this pair, this Masechet, what we, what's the case of Knas here? The classic case of Knas is a uh, short time. A short time, he's Moda on his own, doesn't pay Knas. Motor Bakanas is Potter. What about if you motor the knas, but then Adam came and got you anyway afterwards? Like a guy says, I know there's Adam, I better be motor first, I'll get off the hook. So Rob says, motor the knas, vachkach bo Adam, you're also potter. How does he know that? Why does Rob say, we'll have it later on, motor the knas, vachkach bo Adam, potter? That's what he uses the pasuk of imimotse timotse for. Imimotse be Adam, timotse be Adam. If you're found out with Adam, then timotse, then the judges will get you. Excluding if you if you admitted yourself. So Rob holds, not like others, we'll see that motor beknas vachbarim. You're still potter based on this pasuk. That's what he does with the matzay to matzay. Ulemanda or tavai b'tan gad. But if you learn that Bob and Zion are both speaking about tan das gada, the high mi matzay to matzay matzay le gada vatsmo. And we, as, as we've explained for the last lot, he matzay to matzay speaking about the gada himself. Mashias manam. How do you know that motor beknas is potter? In general, how do you know May I share Yashi and Elokim? Or Meshesh and Elohim, that's when the judges means the, the court, not Elohim, it's Elohim. May I share Yashir and Elohim? Oh, if the below Mashiach Atzmo, that's how he darks with it. Okay, he learns that out from Mashiach Shalom. If you say Bob and Zion, one is Ghana, one is Tanah And he learns Mimotse Timotse from Mashiach Atzmo. What? That your Mashiach Atzmo, Bachkach Boedim, Hai Yashir Shir Maidom, Maidosh. What does he do with our Shir Shun? If he has Mimotse Timotse, for motor of Knas Vachkach Boedim, what does he do with Asher Yishun? Does he say Amalei Ahu Biboyle the motor of Knas Potter? For the first thing, it motor of Knas is Potter without the Adim. He says motor of Knas is Potter, and he'll also say that he must say too much. He teaches me motor of Knas Vachkach Boedim. You're also Potter. Okay, for the Knas, yeah. The second part is that the the second. Let's say you stole hundred dollars and you pay back two hundred. The second hundred is Knas. The first hundred you got to pay back regular, right? The say the Kefal. The second part. The double part, the second part is the is the knas. Umandomer with the first of the white lines in the Gemara. Umandomer tavai b'toin tanaskanav. The one who holds what that the, both Bav and Zion are speaking about toin tanaskanav, and Gimel is speaking about ganav, right? How will he know the motor b'knas b'achach bo edim is potter? Why? Because Asher Yashirin is motor b'knas potter. So motor b'knas b'achach bo edim is chayev. He says, yeah, motor b'knas is potter unless edim come later on. He doesn't have a pasuk for motor b'knas b'achach bo edim. The motor of a class back for Adam that you putter, which Rob Rob holds of that, he'll go, Rob will hold like the one who says that what? That Bob and Zion are speaking about Ghanav and Tony Tanis Ghana respectively. And he must say to Matsis to teach me that motor of a class back for Adam is putter. But the other one who says that Tony Tanis Ghana and Bob and Zion are both speaking about Tony Tanis Ghana, and he must say to Matsai, Prasakim was speaking about Ghanav, he doesn't have a Pasuk for motor of a class back for Adam. Yes, motor of a class is putter, she, yes, she, motor of a class back for Adam is Chayev. The one that says what? Bob and Zion are two different things. Then Afkalei Ganav may hasam. He learns out Ganav from Pasik Bob. So Bishlam means Matzit to Matzay. I understand you Matzit to Matzay like Rabba by Loy. Like he said, Rabba Loy Rasha. That said what? That how does Rab know the mode of Pasik Bachkuf Beidim is Potter? Because he Matzay to Matzay and he Matzay Beidim to Matzay Vadayonim. I will come and pray to Lami. What do you need these other psukim for? Imi Matzay to Matzay teaches me in Pasik Gimel that what if you're found out by Adim. Then what? Then you'll find a by Dayanim. That's motor of knas. Yachkach bo edim is potter. If you find a by edim, then you find out. But if you're motor on your own, you weren't found out originally by you found out originally by yourself, and then edim come, you're still potter, right? What does he do with shor at chamor? So what do you need all those words for in that pasuk for? It's not teaching me shnai. It's not teaching me the drasha of of kefal that I know already from Bob and Zion. So what do I need all those miyutim for? I'll call it pretty lami. You're right, they're not necessary. Any parsha which is repeated, it's only repeated for something that's new there. Meaning this, you're right, This we don't need these words there, but the parsha, the Himatsi Timatsi teaches me a new Allah that Morabi Knas Vachkabayim is Potter. So he mentions these other things also about the other ideas of Shor, Hamor, Sechaim, all that stuff. Even though we already know it from Vav. Even though this repetition of Gimel is before Vav, Right, but the idea of nishus doesn't mean that it was repeated a second time afterwards. It could be it was repeated before also. It's there twice. That's the idea. The aim of ganavatz mushvur. 
So wait a minute. If you're learning out this way, maybe the God of himself should also be sure, just like telling Tanis God of. And the apostle says, right? That's, I think, it ends off the uh, that uh, keta, right? You pay without a shvur, and a regular ganav, right? If it's with a shvur, that's not the way. That's not the way it was learned. My look, what does that mean? It wasn't that way. Rabbiya. Why did the Pusik say you pay double by Ghanav? Why does it say you pay Gavlov? If Toyin Tainas Ghanav, right, pays double, Ma Toyin Tainas Ghanav. The Betero said it comes into his hands, the Heter, right? What does that mean? You were given it to guard, and then you claim it was stolen from you. It came to your Heter. Still, if you lied about it, you got to pay Kato, Amakra, Lashal, and Trey, you got to pay too. God of Asmo, where he stole the Bisur said it came into his hands. Illegally, he stole it. Well, Koshkin certainly used to pay time. El Shnaim Shalim, Kasachmana began of Asma Lomali. What does that teach more? That feels Shlobish right? Again, like we said before, if you learn out of Kalva Homer from Tony Tanaskana, if Tony Tanaskana pays double, certainly, and came into his hands legitimately, and then he lied about it, and he has to pay double, certainly when you stole it, you should pay double. Yes, but if you learn it out from there, you would say that you have to you have to swear about it. You have to swear it's just like you're learning out from Tony Tanaskana if you only pay double when you swore falsely about it here too. It's only if you swore that uh, goes across the of Asma Lomali. That feels shlobish for us. They each me even without a shvur. Yeah. The other Gemara considers the Shomer a special case, a third case. Tony Tanaskana is also always by a Shomer. Right, but the argument here of the Gemara just at the end mm -hmm. is that. Uh, since it came into his hands legally, yeah. right? So that's the showman. That's the showman. That's, that's perfect. Bob. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's perfect. There's actually three things. Yeah. There's the regular Geneva. Yeah. There's the um, the uh, the shomer. Right. And somebody who steals it from a showman. This was three cases. No, we're not talking about the cases of somebody no, stealing. No, we're not talking about it, but it's, it seems as if the Gemara is considering it a special. No, case. Uh, oh, oh, oh! You mean if you you mean if you um, you steal it from the Shomer? Yeah, okay, you could look at it that way. That's it, you know. Um, That's why yeah. I mean, right, right, right. Clearly, the Gemara. No, no, no. I don't think that the the three. Yeah, yeah. Well, in Tony Tainas Ganav, I see what you're saying. In Tony Tainas Ganav. Um, the idea, you're right. You're right. That that's that's a regular Ghana. In other words, there's no difference between stealing it from the owner. I I I, I see what you're saying. You have three cases, but it's not really what we're talking about. That's we're right. stealing it from the owner and stealing it from the showman is the same thing. Wherever you stole it from, you stole. It. You got it into the league. That's the same Ghana, right? Um, if you stole it from a Ghana, then you're putter. That, then you're not. Yeah, right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. And so you could say there are three cases, but that's not really what the psukim is talking about. The psukim are talking about. That the towing time is gone is where he himself took it, right? He himself took it. That's where you have to swear, the swear false, right? Okay, you are there. You could look at it as three cases, correct? Um, that's the point. So, the question here was that, um, um, uh, maybe the Ghana himself should have to make a shvur. So, we said if the Ghana makes a shvur, no, that's not make sure it's such an shalim shlobish for why? Because if it was with a shvur, I would, I would talk to be able to learn out from a Kava Homer. Right, the Kavach Homer told us God to be sure to pay Kafo. Why does it say Shnayim Sham? Tell me that he has to pay Kafo even without the Shvur. The Hayim Imotzei Lachiros. Now, can you tell me that the Imotzei Kimotzei teaches me this halacha of Geneva itself, according to the one who learns that both the Vav and Zayin are both speaking on Tanas Ganav, and according to the one who learns that Vav and Zayin are for different brushes, Imotzei is the teachment halacha of Rav that Motiv Knas Machu by him is Potter. Uh, who does is that for that? I mean, boy, look at a time for a different version. Look at a Tanya, Yado, only a Yado. It says, in Imatsi Kimatsi, be Yado. If you find the uh, Ganev in his hands, it, you know, it's the God of Cook it, right? If you find it, uh, let's say he don't, you don't have it. How do you prove that he stole it? Because he stole it and he's got it. We see that he has it, right? Uh, if he stole it, let's say, and he discarded it, and there's no proof that he actually has it, maybe he was a Shliach, we don't know. You have to find, it. maybe he doesn't have it right now, but the Adam say, we saw it, he took it in his possession, we saw him steal it, and he has it. And he must have been, so you find it in his hand. So what's any of the other, because this must be other. 
a gag of chatzir b'kefir mina. How do we know he had in any of his possessions? For example, on his roof, in his courtyard, in his enclosure. How do we know that Yechai bear to tamal over? And me matzay to matzay, like wherever you find it, doesn't have to be in his hand, doesn't have to be in his briefcase, doesn't have to be in his house. Wherever you find it in his possession, that's good enough. So you see, matzay to matzay teaches me that drasha. I mean, that's the big lesson come from. Im kain if it would only be for one drasha le makra, oh we matzay matzay to matzay. I'm saying the same word twice. If it would only be for one drasha, either the drasha of gago chatzay v'kifa or the drasha of of mar b'knas b'achach ba'oedim. Or the drasha of um, of the of the klal the the, the riboy of Geneva, just let it say the same thing twice, the same word twice. He must say, he must say, he must say, he must say. Mid a shani cross since the pasuk changed it and said he must say, he must say. Shema minatata. We see two drashas are learned from here. We see two drashas, not one. And that's how the Gemara ends off. So at the end of the day, is there a difference in halacha between if you if, if you learn uh, if you learn Geneva? And Torin Tan, Ganav and Torin Tan is from Vav and Zion. Or if you learn them both from, or Torin Tan is both both Vav and Zion speaking about Torin Tan is Ganav. Is there a difference in Alocha? There is a difference. What's the difference about Moda Beknas Parchach Bo Edim? Because we said, if you say, like Mar said before, if you say what that one Vav and Zion, Vav is Ganav, and Zion is Torin Tan is Ganav, and he might say to might say. Right, and imatzit tomatoes is used for what? That's used for if uh, it's used for motive knas bracha koedim is potter like rab. But if you don't have an extra pasuk, <clears throat> why? Because toin tanis ganav is both bav and zayin and toin tanis ganav. And imatzit matze is for ganav himself. I don't have an extra pasuk for toin tan for for motive knas bracha koedim and motive knas bracha koedim with takav bichayev and achnami. There would be the nafkamina in these psukim the way you learn it. Is motive a knas which isn't really our discussion over here, but that could be where you learn it from. If you learn, if the the one who learns that Vav and Zion are one but Vav, one Vav is Ghana and Zion is Tony Town is Ghana, he must say to Matsa, he's coming to teach me that what if the Adam originally brought him, then you have to pay. But if he originally was Moda, even if Adam came afterwards, you're Potter. If you that so he has that posse for Potter. If you don't have the posse for that, and a Khanami, Motiv Knas Bakhraid would be Chayev. All right, tomorrow's daf is daf Samachay uh, from the two das from Gufa. And on Sunday, Merit Hashem, we'll pick it up on Samachay and Beis. On, on the end of Shabbos' daf, about nine, ten lines from the bottom of the page, there's a, two dots there. Mosque of Lorav Zeru. We'll pick it up from there on Sunday morning. Shabbat Shalom Lekulam. Stay safe. Surah Tobot. Well, I think